In a previous tutorial, we looked at how we could add place marks to Google Earth to mark particular locations and add text and imagery. In that case, we marked the location of the Salem State sign on North Campus at Salem State University, and we added some text and imagery that we found on the um, U.S. News and World Report education website. More likely than not, though, if we're going to add imagery, our own imagery, we're going to be working from images that we took, and most of us will not be posting them on public web pages, but more likely onto either a social media site like Facebook or uh, a photo sharing site. So let's let's look at examples of grabbing imagery from Facebook as well as a photo sharing site and adding them into Google Earth. So if you go to, to the Department of Geography Facebook page, right now at least, um, the photo, cover photo has a really nice image of two of our students who recently graduated, Tyler and Fatou, and here they are at Undergraduate Research Day, which is an event that takes place every May. And you can tell by the background, if you know the campus, this is probably at the Bertillon Building. So I want to add this imagery to a location in Google Earth. So how do I do this? Well, Facebook works a little differently than a typical web page. So when you click on an image that's been posted in Facebook, you're probably going to come up with this page or this little pop-up window that highlights the image along with this stuff on the side. But what we need is the address to just the image itself or the URL. So the way that we get to that is kind of similar to what we do in a web page. We right-click on the image. Again, in Firefox, you'll see View Image, which is what we want. If you're using Chrome or Safari, you see an option to open image in new tab. Either way, what we're looking for is to see something like this, where we've just isolated the image. And in particular, what we want is this stuff up here, the URL or the address to that, just the image. So I want to copy that, and now I can go back into Google Earth, and I can use that to create a place mark to add imagery. So as I said before, that one was taken over at Central Campus. So I need to scroll down to Central Campus, okay? and specifically there it is. There's a Bertillon building, and it's probably right about here. That's where the staircase is. So I'm going to add a place mark by clicking on the place mark button, and it drops a push pin right in the middle of the image. I'm going to reposition it over the Bertillon building right there. And I'm going to say undergraduate research day, exclamation point. And here oops, are Tyler and Fatou showing their work. All right, now I want to add that image. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Add Image button. And again, I'm going to paste that URL that I copied from the Facebook image into this a bar and then hit OK. And what it will do is it's going to add all this stuff uh, underneath the text that I just created. And the key to understanding this is, again, this is HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, and there are instructions about how to show the image. Now, if you look closely, you'll see buried in there this extension JPG, and that's significant because that in indicates that we're dealing with an image. Most images that you encounter on the web are going to be in one of only a few formats. They're going to be JPG or JPEG, GIF, PNG. Again, they're just uh, formats for imagery that are shared on the web. In any case, once you've added that, you can hit OK. And when you click on the image now, You'll see one, you'll see the, the uh, title, and you'll see the text. And really nicely, now we see the image that shows up with that. Now this is great, except the image is kind of large for the window that we're working with. So it's a little inconvenient to have to scroll to look at it. So what I want to do is I want to resize the image. Now I don't have the ability to actually change the image that's on Facebook, but I can control how it displays here. And that requires us to tinker just a little bit with the HTML instructions that, that tell uh, Google Earth how to display it. So to change it, or to manipulate how it's shown, I'm going to go back to the properties for that place mark that I just created. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add instructions in the code here that, that uh, will change how it displays the size of it. So right in between the IMG and SRC, I'm going to put my cursor there, and I'm going to add a new width and height. So I'm going to type the word width equals quote 250 quote and then height equals, and then I'm going to put uh, 300, let's say. Now, the numbers that I'm using here refer to the pixels uh, of the image, how many pixels are wide and how many pixels high. 
Um, you can always access this information when you when you look at any image essentially and open it up on a web page or on your computer. It'll often tell you the width and height, and that's usually communicated in terms of pixels, although sometimes in inches. And here the default is pixels. So I've, re I've typed in a new uh, size for it essentially. So now I hit OK, and now when I click on that same icon, I'll see the image is much smaller, and so that's a lot more usable given the kind of uh, the size of the window that we're working here. And, that, and that's it essentially. You can change it well. I mean, usually what you want to do is you want to stick with new uh, sizes that are proportional to the original size. So usually you could find the original height and width of the of the image and then just take you know half of that. And that way you can keep the proportions and you don't end up distorting the look of the image. Okay, so that's how we add an image from uh, Facebook.